Hey there, Pisces, and happy birthday to you. This is another general love reading. This reading is for your next, your next serious relationship, all right? So it is a general, it's not, look, you know you're the high priestess and the magician. You know if, if anybody can manifest the uh, desired outcome, then you know you can. Okay, so trust in your intuition um, and only take the part that fits. If it does resonate, Pisces, please like, share, and subscribe. So check it out here. It says worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. So it's like... You don't have to be in a hurry because what is going to come for you is going to be what worth the wait here. For some of you guys here, you may be needing to let go of feeling um, like somebody's always doing something wrong. It says someone is wearing a false face, the false bags in this relationship here. So for some of y'all, you could be waiting on somebody here to get their stuff together and, you know, be authentic and to be real. And I feel like that's in the way. Now, it could just be mentally. You know how you waiting on somebody? Oh, it may be red around here. I got my mustache. I can see it. That's why I'm mentioning it. I got my eyebrows waxed and I got this beard. And I, I thought they just do that part. Now, she went all around. So that's why it's red, okay? <laughs> so it's like it's imp important for you right now because you need to free yourself from it. It's time for you to take back control of your love life. It's time for you to take back control and stop. Some of y'all waiting on somebody here that ain't ish and spirits say you, it, it either is um, uh, dictating your thoughts. You may be, you know, you may be low key waiting there hoping that they get it right. But spirits say, no, nah, don't wait on them because you got something better coming in. See? Remember, this is your next serious relationship. It's going to be, for most of y'all, because it's a general, it's going to be with somebody new. Because Spirit is already saying it's time to free yourself. Take back control over your life, Pisces. All right, so let's see what these cards say. And love, new love, see? Spirit say release yourself so that you can experience this new love that's coming in for commitment, something serious. Serious. I'm talking about serious. Somebody here who gets you, someone who understands you, someone who is vibing like you, someone that ain't trying to get over on you. This is this is it's coming through in this new love. It ain't. It's over with the past. Spirit, why spirit say you have to let that go, child. It ain't even worth it when you have something so much better. See, there it is, the Ace of Cups, releasing burdens so that you can have it. My spirit saying, you know, some of y'all in y'all head about what this. The person you need to free yourself from. See, spirits say take back control over your life, Pisces. Queen of Wands, start loving yourself. Start, you know, don't get, <laughs> it's almost like for some of y'all, y'all waiting on somebody. You waiting on somebody and they ain't worth it, okay? It's, it's, it's what spirit is saying because you got this new love. But for some of y'all, y'all not putting yourselves out there. Or it's because your mind waiting on somebody may be stopping you. Now, I say it's a general. See? Cause some of y'all need to love yourself because that's kind of in the it came out in reverse so that's what it was came out in the reverse that's how she came out and that's what it is so there's a need to drop the low because it's almost like you got you got something already waiting on you they go to ace of sword it's time to cut some things out free yourself you know you can free your sword with the truth you can because what they say the truth shall make you free it's supposed to anyway, ain't it? But the thing like the more you know, the more you need to know more. <laughs> See, it's about a karmic or something from your childhood. Could be from somebody from your past here. You could feel like there's unfinished business, so you could low key be waiting. And spirit is telling you, you got to free yourself, but that ain't, <laughs> it's just gonna bring you down. It's time to lift yourself back up. What's the next serious relationship coming for Pisces? Three of Cups. So that's why Spirit is saying some of y'all may be cold and detached, or you could have a King of Swords coming your way. Ooh, they go to lovers. Oh, okay. Some of y'all, you got your heart broke by a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. 
because you got the king of swords, the lovers in the reverse, and the three of swords. So this is what this is about, a heartache from somebody from your past. That's you need to free yourself from in order to appreciate and, uh, and uh, receive this new love. And that's just point blank, period. And once again, uh, it says worth waiting for. I feel like in this regard, Spirit is telling you, it's no need in you. Um, I don't feel like your person is worth waiting for, but I feel like Spirit is telling you, if you just withhold from this person that you need to free yourself from, it's, it, it, you're going you're gonna to end up with something better in the end. Because if you keep on entertaining this person, then you're going to block something new. Because once you realize, I'm telling you, once you really, really make that contact that you already know what it is, Pisces, and I know you already know in that high priestess energy now, you know everything you need to know now. If you continue to move forward, you're just asking for trouble. So there's a need to love yourself, trust in your intuition, which is your uh, spiritual power. See, the magician, trust and see, you, you can manifest balanced relationships. But first you have to work on you. I feel like you need to do some inner work. So let's see what's the next serious relationship coming for Pisces in this. Let's start off with this Ten of Wands. What's up with this Ten of Wands? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries dropping the load. Spirit say drop the load of waiting on that person that they don't deserve you because all they did is got you in balance here, got you questioning yourself, got them, got you looking at yourself like you ain't all that. So anytime somebody brings out the worst in you, then you already know they got to go, okay? So this spirit is telling you drop that zero, drop that negative energy and level up here. Go on, get the manifesting here. And I feel like that's what some of y'all are doing. And this is why it's going to get better. All right, the Ten of, Pen Ten of Wands, excuse me, for Pisces' next serious relationship. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands, because y'all want to y'all want to be successful. And you feel like that, that see, Eight of Pentacles, y'all want something. They go to Ace of Swords. Ooh, I feel like y'all working on y'all self. That's what I see. Wow, see? Some of y'all, wow. You got the King of Cups and the Empress in the reverse again. Some of y'all working on y'all self. I just hear you need to love yourself first. And that ain't what the card said, but loving yourself first also represents freeing yourself. Because, you know, like I said, you can move a million miles away physically. <laughs> But you can't escape your thoughts, can you? No. And your thoughts can wreak havoc in your life if you don't bring it under control. All right, what's up with this other ace of swords? So some of you guys are realizing that you're going to have to focus more on yourself and building yourself back up because your last relationship may have been absolutely draining. All right, what's up with this ace of swords for uh, Pisces' next serious relationship? See? Ten of cups, there it is. You got something serious coming. But for some of y'all, you're going to have to take back your power, though. Like I said, I feel like it's I feel like you got it here, but change is going to have to be made. And you have the change in your hand. You got two of the Ace of Pentacles. So what the blockage of spirit says it's time to break down all of your strongholds, get out of that deception energy and just allow something to happen. But once again, somebody needs to work on themselves. Because you got a new relationship coming your way, but you're not going to pay attention. See, three of cups. You got somebody new coming in to date you. See, it's that new love. Somebody romantically has stir somebody new is going to um, stir up your romantic see because they go to Queen of Wands. But you got to be in that Queen of Wands energy. You can't be in no Empress in the reverse. You got to love yourself. So why is the Six of Cups in the reverse for Pisces next serious relationship? Six of Cups in the reverse. Uh, unfinished business is what I feel like. Could be childhood issues, somebody from your past that didn't treat you really good. They go to star cards, so some of y'all may need to heal. Wow. You need to heal from your childhood. I see you needing to heal from your childhood. That's what I see because that's, that's the only reason. It's almost like, you know, if, if those things from your childhood is gone, is, is go unresolved, then eventually you're not going to believe you deserve love or you're not going to feel like you can have anything. You're going to be insecure. You're going to be questioning your beauty and everything about you. So I see the need of some of you guys really addressing your childhood or things from your past. That's why spirit is cautioning you and emphasizing 
uh, to free yourself. It says it's time to take back control over your life. Look how look look how vibrant you was before you got a hold of them. So it's all right though because I feel like with the star card you're gonna do just that and then you can have a fresh new opportunity. See, there it is. It don't stop something serious. You finna stop having restless sleepless nights over things that you cannot change, and you're about to in explore and get your happy back and get your girly uh, passion back, and you're about to be open to something better, which is new. See, Ten of Swords. I feel like you guys are letting it go because you're standing in your power. There you are, Pisces. Get your power back. What's up this Three of Cups for Pisces' next serious relationship? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, Libra, Aquarius. Look, ooh, wee. I, didn't I tell you you're going to meet the right one? That's, gonna, that's why Spirit's saying you have no idea. This is worth waiting for. So if it means you freeing yourself from a toxic karmic person and being by yourself, then that's what you do because it's worth waiting for. You're going to meet, you're going to start dating this person here too. You may start dating this person. You may meet this person while you're out at some type of events, some celebration. And you're going to know that they're the ones. See, there you go. <laughs> you're about to fall in love again, okay? <laughs> Some of y'all finally freeing y'all self from something else and right, and you're going to fall right back in love with somebody. This, this, but, but at least they're coming in with the Ten of Cups. And their soul may hear, see? See that when you level up your energy in that Queen of Wands, you're going to attract the same energy. Which is that two of cups, I feel like it's twin flame energy. See? But this ain't going to get it. That Empress in the reverse. But like I say, this connection is going to kill your emotions. This Somebody used to look. Ooh, let me stop. It's going to be a whole lot of things. You're gonna, that's why I say you're going to fall in love with this one. Yeah, you're going to fall in love with this one. Y'all going to fall in love with this. This person here who wants this energy that's coming in for a commitment. I see it. What's going on with this other Queen of Wands for Pisces' next serious relationship? What's up with the sensual, feisty, beautiful, confident Queen of C? Happy, 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 happy feelings. Ooh, ooh, see there. Oh, Pisces, I'm so happy for you. Look. This person's going to be a track. Now, you see, you got the king and the queen of cups and the king and the queen of wands. Wow. See there? This your next one. Now, what's up with this empress in the reverse for Pisces next serious relationship? Why is this empress upside down? So this 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 next energy. See? Wow. Because something is about to change. See, you because spirit wants you to know you ain't got. No, it's one of those things, Pisces, when spirit is saying you have no idea. How are you believing the lie when you are wealthy? How you look does not determine how abundant you are. It determines what you see yourself as. Because this Ten of Pentacles is telling you that what you are seeing about yourself, if you're feeling down and out on yourself, second guessing yourself, Spirit say that's a lie. Don't it? it Spirit say whatever's telling you that that's a lie because you're abundant. You have everything. And now you got somebody coming in to balance things out. See there? So Spirit say you're going to have to leave all that. Leave all of that because that's a lie. I saw the devil. See? Some of y'all thinking that y'all missed out on something, but you ain't missed out on nothing. It's just it's just been about divine timing in the right cup this time. So this is what's wor worth waiting for. You ain't missed out on nothing. You just doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Pisces next serious relationship? Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Ace of, uh, Ace of Sword, Ace of Wands. Got the Ten of Pentacles. See there? Page of Swords could be a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Like I say, they are already checking you out. It could be you. Look at, see there? They go to Ace of Cups again. See there? And they go to freaking Ace of Pentacles. See? 
Ace of Pentacles, which is, you have not missed out on the opportunity because you got that Ten of Pentacles. You got the Seven of Cups. One more card for this Ace of Cups. Or you could have thought you missed out on the opportunity or what you thought you missed out on, if you really ain't lost nothing. In other words, you ain't lost nothing. You just got to free yourself and stand in your power and you start looking at things from a powerful Pisces point of view. See, you got a secret admirer already looking for what you're looking for. And with that Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, the two, well, look, this is a definitely a soulmate. This is a soulmate who's going to teach you how to love again. All right? So this is your next serious relationship, the soulmate that's going to teach you how to love again because you got the king and the queen of cups and the nine of cups. All right, Pisces, please like, share, and subscribe.